Have you heard about the escalating crisis linked to counterfeit Xanax? Let's discuss the facts and potential dangers. The BBC reports an escalating crisis linked to the rising number of deaths caused by counterfeit versions of an anti-anxiety drug, Xanax. Xanax is the brand name for the drug Alprazolam and is used to treat anxiety and panic attacks but is not available on the NHS. The Northern Ireland coroner, Mr McCriskin, reported the number of deaths linked to Alprazolam had risen from a single death in 2015 to 26 in 2017 and potentially doubling to around 50 in 2018. He described the situation as a very tiny tip of what is a very huge iceberg, causing a significant public health concern. In 2018, the BBC found that even children as young as 11 were being treated by ambulance services after taking fake versions of the drug. The drug can be obtained on private prescription in the UK is widely prescribed in the US, and counterfeit versions circulate on the dark web. One case study features Paul, who started taking counterfeit Xanax at the age of 17. His experience describes the drug's negative impact on his life, leading to violent altercations, a trance-like state, and severe mental health problems. He claimed that fake Xanax had the worst effect on him as he was uncertain if it had been mixed with other substances. The issue is UK-wide. In Scotland, deaths related to Alprazolam increased from 24 in 2016 to 99 in 2017. In 2018, Public Health Wales reported that counterfeit Xanax was among the most commonly identified classes of psychoactive substances analysed by their drug testing service.